I am Dr. Hina Mosen, Professor of Medical Education, Director of Care Program, and Director of M2 Clinical Skills and Simulation Lab. Clinical Skills and Simulation Lab at CUSM offers a wide spectrum of simulation activities, including intensive care unit, emergency room, labor and delivery, and operating room. Not only that, we have fully functional 15 patient rooms where student comes every week, practice history taking, and hands-on experience. Our main goal is to enhance and improve clinical competence in current and future physicians, cultivate and nurture overall patient safety, management and evaluation using telemedicine, and advance technologies with simulation training. These simulators breathe, bleed, talk, cry, laugh with you, and answer all your questions. This is the place where students practice in a safe and protected environment. And we allow them to make a mistakes, learn from their mistakes, without the fear of harming the patient. And they keep practicing until they feel the sense of proficiency, and they are ready to go in, in the field and treat the patient. All these rooms are equipped with dual camera setting, with audio and video recording facilities. The reason we capture and record all the session is because of the training purposes. We use these videos to train our standardized patient. Students come back and maybe they wanna re-watch or assess their performance so they can always have access. And preceptors can also observe live or remotely through these recordings. Standardized patients are trained actors. They simulate or they mimic the real patient situation. For example, if we give them a script of belly pain or lower abdominal pain, they help the student give the information regarding the pain and even during examination, they mimic the pain. Our clinical skills sessions runs in parallel, fully aligned and integrated with our system-based curriculum. For example, if students are learning about the heart, respiratory system, renal system, they learn about the anatomy, pathology, physiology in their regular classroom sessions, flip classroom, college program, and lectures. But when they come here, they mostly focus on clinical reasoning process, critical thinking, decision-making capacity, and effective management and evaluation of the patient.